Hello my dear children, welcome to class 5 mathematics. Today's topic is division. Divide the following and check your answer. 57,827 divided by 72. We know that the number which is being divided is called as dividend and the number which divides is called as divisor. So here the dividend is 57,827 and 72 is the divisor. Now put the number in division format. Written? It is very easy to divide if we will write the multiplication table of the divisor. Here divisor is 72. So here we will follow a trick by which we can write the multiplication table of any two digit number. So 72 that means 2 is at 1's place and 7 is at 10's place. So, before writing the multiplication table of 72, we will write the table of 2 and 7 separately. So, this is the table of 2 and this is the table of 7. Correct? Now, see 2 is at 1's place. So, in the product side, while writing the places, I will start writing places from 1's place because 2 is at 1's place. Then 1's place, 10's place. While writing the places of the multiplication table of 7, 7 is at 10's place. So, I will start writing the places from 10's. Then 100. Right? This is clear to you all. Now see, here we have only one ones place digits. Okay. Ones place, we have only one ones place. But we have two tens places. Now what to do? Let's see. Now we, as we have only one ones place, so we will just copy the ones place digits at the ones place in the multiplication table of 72. So, first one is 2, 4, then 6, 8. In this way, we just copy the 1's place digits and cancel the 1's place digits which we have already written. Now, go to the 10's place. At 10's place, we have 7. So, we will write 7 at 10's place in the multiplication table of 72. Let me write the places. 1's and 10's. Now, next one. At, uh, in the next one also, at 10's place, I have only 4. So, at 10's place, I will write 4 and 100's place, I have 1. So, I will write 1 at 100's place in the multiplication table of 72. Now, I will go to the next one. In next one, at 10's place, I have 1 digit, that is 1. So, I will write 1 at 10's place and at 100's place, I have 2. So, at 100's place, I, I will write 2. 2. So, 21. In the next one, I have 8 at 10's place. So, I will write 8 at 10's place. And at 100's place, I have 2. So, I will write, write 2 at 100's place. Done. Now, next one, I have 2 digits at 10's place. 5 and 1. So, what to do? I will add the 10's place digits. The digits that are there at Tens place. 5 and 1. So 5 plus 1 that becomes 6. So I will write 6 at tens place. And at hundreds place I have 3. So I will write 3 at hundreds place. Next 2 and 1. These two digits are there at tens place. So I will add them. 2 plus 1 becomes 3. So 3 at tens place and 4 at hundreds place. Next 9 and 1 at tens place. So, 9 plus 1 that becomes 10. So, I will write 0 at 10's place and I will carry over 1 at 100's place. Correct? So, 4 plus 1 at 100's place that becomes 5. So, I will write 5 at 100's place. In this way, 6 and 1 they are at 10's place. So, 6 plus 1 become, becomes 7. So, 7 I will write at 10's place and at 100's place, 5. Next, 
3 plus 1 that becomes 4. They both are at 10's place. So I will write 4 at 10's place and at 100's place that is 6. Next, 0 plus 2 because 0 and 2 both are at 10's place. So I will add them. 0 plus 2 that becomes 2 and 7 is there at 100's place. Correct? Now my multiplication table is ready. You can apply this technique to find the multiplication table of any two digit number. Now I will move to the division part. In division part, look at the divisor. It is a two digit number. So I will take two digits from the dividend. That is 57. But 57 is less than 72. I can divide. So I will have to take another digit. So it, it is three digit number now 578. Now I will move to the multiplication table and I will find a number which is nearest to 578 or equals to 578. So which one is, what is the number? 576 is nearest to 578. Okay, I can mark the numbers also. So 576. So 72 eights are 576. So in the quotient I will write 8 and below I will write 576. Then I will put subtraction sign. Then I will subtract. 8 less 6 is 2. 7 less 7 equals to 0. 5 less 5 is also equals to 0. Then I will carry down 2. Now the number that has been formed that is 22 which is less than 72. So I will have to carry down another digit. So in the same step if you will carry down two digits, okay, then you have to put zero in the quotient. I hope all of you know this. So, in the same step, I need two digits to be carried down. So, I will have to put a zero in the quotient. Then I can carry down the next digit. So, here I have written zero in the quotient and I have carried down seven. Now, I will find 227 in my multiplication table, a number which is nearest to 227 or equals to 227. So, a number which is nearest to 227 that is 216. So, 72 threes are 216. So, I will write 3 in the quotient 72 times 3 equals to 216. Put subtraction sign then I will subtract. And the answer is 11. After subtracting, 11 has come. Now, 11 is less than 72 and we don't have any other digit in the dividend to carry down. So, we have to stop our division and this is our remainder. So, here remainder is 11. Got it? Now, in the question, it has been given that check your answer. So, we will check our answer. How to check? See, this is our quotient. When you will multiply quotient by the divisor and the result, if you will add to the remainder and whatever answer you got, if that is equals to the dividend, then if that is equals to the dividend, then your answer is, then your division is correct. Let's check. So, the formula is quotient multiply divisor plus remainder equals to dividend quotient below quotient put the value of quotient that is 803 multiply divisor that is 72 plus remainder equals to 11 and when you will multiply 300, 803 multiply 72 that becomes 57816 you know that when multiplication sign and plus sign the both both the operations are there so we need to perform Multiplication first according to Dima's rule. So, we will perform multiplication first. So, we have multiplied and the product is 57,816. Then plus 11. So, after adding the answer is 57,827 which is equals to our dividend. That means our division is correct. Hence, our division is correct. Answer quotient is 803. And remainder is 11. I hope this is clear to you all. Thank you.